suppose you are going to give your attempt next year so how your ideal preparation should be as of now even i used to run around the market searching for new sources new materials somehow i was able to clear prelims that is completely senseless in my earlier attempts i had taken test series very casually it takes your entire year away from you but if you complete all the paper you are in the Trust list me it can also get frustrating might tell you that you need to work smart but no one tells you what smart to work exactly is and uh, so first of all i would like to thank sir for giving me this opportunity to interact with you and uh, the reason as i told you at the initial my initial speech only if that was not a speech but uh, the reason i told you it is because of him is because there is one thing which we call as confidence we can know we can know all the things but if we don't have confidence we don't perform better i was very confident person but he was the one who showed me that i was a confident person and i had disturbed him a lot i used to take most of his time i remember after every test that i gave we used to discuss that test for an hour i guess so his personal attention is something which i'll always be indebted to now to begin with the most common thing that you all must have heard is we all need to do hard work we all have to work hard and also we have to work smart most of the people that you come across you your seniors or the people who have already cracked this exam they might tell you that you need to work smart but no one tells you what smart to work exactly is no one will, uh, they will give you big jargons like uh, you need to be focused you need to be determined disciplined etc but no one actually explains you how to do that or what that process exactly is and for me the best way was to have a balance of all to have a balance of your gs as well as your optional suppose if you are at the stage of your preparation where suppose you are going to give your attempt next year so how your ideal preparation should be as of now so for example you can devote half of your time for optional 4 hours maybe 3 4 hours you can give 3 4 hours for your gs and you know how csat is you have see i hope you would have seen the paper of csat this year so you should make sure that at least an hour a day you focus on your csat as well and definitely one hour for your newspaper your current affairs or whatever the themes that you are studying so first of all manage your time and for me the most important thing that kept me away from success earlier and which helped me to gain success this time was discipline that was a key change maker i would say because earlier even i used to run around the market searching for new sources new materials there would be so much hue and cry about new things that are coming to market and you know many of your friends might also tell you are this book is better than the earlier one why are you reading that book etc etc so even i was also one of them if i used to find any new source if i any i used to find any new book i used to run after it so that is the one thing that avoided this time i was pretty sure that i had my sources they were standard sources and if you are studying for gs i guess there is only one or two reference book for every subject and it is only that that we have to read we don't have to go for five or six sources for every subject that is completely senseless in my opinion and that is something we should avoid and speaking of other things our test series play a very key role the in my earlier attempts i had taken test series very casually somehow i was able to clear prelims two three times but still when it came to mains i was a bit lax and i was quite confident about my writing speed i was confident that i would complete my paper on time and somewhere i had heard from people also even if you write average below average marks but if you complete all the paper you are in the list that somehow backfired for me as well and that backfired by a, a very less margin for example the previous year means that i gave i was out of, of the list by 5 marks the earlier means that i gave i was out by 9 marks so that was a very borderline thing but you know even if it's a borderline thing it takes your entire year away from you 
and definitely this process is very tiresome and uh, trust me it can also get frustrating but what keeps us going is that how motivated we are and i know even motivation is a jargon it's a very big word but to concise it it's just that if we have an understanding as to why i am doing this or for whom i am doing this even that keeps us going and even that will help us to go a step ahead every day and for me that was one of the biggest things so i was confident enough that this exam is not something which is beyond me it's just that i am not going with the right strategy and many people will tell you that you need to be intelligent you need to be this you need to be that but trust me this exam is not about intelligence this exam is more about your strategy and here in discipline plays the key role wherein if you are disciplined enough if you have the core strategy if you make a strategy today and if you are able to follow it till end of the year till your prelims till your next bains till your interview then definitely you will be in the list so i would definitely tell you to be disciplined more because everyone is studying here if you roam around the streets of orn you will find everyone working hard so we can't assure ourselves okay i am working hard so i'll be successful no that is not the case suppose if you have a friend who is working hard enough who is reading 10 books for a single subject and on other on the other hand you are also working hard a bit less than him but you are revising one source 10 times definitely you will have upper edge over him and you will find him here only in next year also but you will be elsewhere so the crux is keep your sources very limited i'll share my sources also later and definitely as you interact with more people you should also be cautious as to what advice we should receive and how much we should keep it in our inputs because everyone around them is going to give you some other advice as to how to prepare how not to prepare what to prepare but end of the day it is you who have to do all the things you have to maintain your originality last means i tried to replicate all the topper copies in my answers and it backfired because i was not original you have to go through the topper copies that is non negotiable but that is something which you have to do for your reference you have to just keep it as a reference that i am referring to this copy but my answers would be original because every strategy is unique some strategy might be helpful for you but it na- might not be helpful for him and it is vice versa it's the same goes the other way so we have to find our own strategy as to what works for us and for that itself your test series plays a key role you can make more and more mistakes here so that you bleed bleed less in your actual exams it's fine sir will scold you if you write rubbish answers but i have not seen him scold also i have written many more rubbish answers in the beginning but he is very friendly he'll help you he'll guide you and same goes with your gs also try to give more and more tests try to explore yourself in test for example there can be many strategies in writing an answer for example we have our gs papers in two parts the 10 markers and the 15 markers so write 10 markers first in one paper in the next paper try writing 15 markers first in the other paper try writing 5 10 markers 5 15 markers and that goes on and after four five tests you find a strategy which suits you the best so that you can save time as well and you can write better answers as well and then go with that strategy and most important thing even before mains is your prelims and you need to have strategy to clear your prelims exams i hope you have you would have gone through the paper that was this year and you might have got a knack of it no one gets the knack of upsc that is for sure but you might have got an idea as to how paper can be so you can give more and more tests you can make mistakes in test for example in prelims then there can be many strategies 
for example what i used to do is in the first one and half hour or one or 15 minutes i try to i try to attempt all the questions that i know maximum questions that i can probably 60 70 questions and i would keep 20 30 questions in the end for the later half an hour and whatever questions that i know of then i would tick and i would give maximum attempts of 90 to 95 questions but uh, one of my friends he also cleared he also he has cleared prelims for four times consecutively his strategy is something different what he does is that in the initial 30 minutes he marks most of the questions wherein i used to take one and half mark he used to take only 30 minutes and he used to attempt maximum questions but maximum as in he is 100 percent confident of and you know 100 percent confident of such questions are only 25 to 13 prelims rest all are dicey not even 25 30 now you can only count till 20 only so for him in the earlier 30 minutes he used to give what give it a thought of 20 to 30 questions and in the later one and a half hour he would go for another 50 questions so you can also follow various strategies in prelims and as you proceed with your strategies as you start giving more and more tests you get to understand yourself as to what works for me and that is the core thing that you have to do here and we will definitely talk about personality tests that is interviewed later only but uh, trust me in this process only your prelims means the whole cycle because you will have to study for a year and then the cycle of exam is for a year for a year prelims means an interview so in these two years you will yourself know how to be good at interview if you are honest with yourself and if you are honest with your preparation your interview will go very smooth because you are not trying to fake anything over there so for interview it is a very simple thing be yourself don't fake anything they appreciate honesty and trust me even honesty is also a very big word but only be true to yourself be true to them it will definitely favor you and uh, specifically to talk about anthropology make sure you make your own notes definitely institute will give their notes to you you will have reference books many other books but try making your own notes as well for me what i had done was i had made notes in a format that i would write answers in the exam suppose we are discussing a topic 1.1 1, 1. 1, meaning scope and relevance of anthropology suppose if you are doing that then my notes would be simple three or four page introduction body conclusion in introduction i would have written two three definitions of anthropology given by various thinkers in body explain scope relevance and other things what are related in conclusion also a way forward or anything suppose a forward looking conclusion everything under the science everything under the roof can be included in anthropology etc so now itself try to make notes in a format as to what i will write in the exam not in the format that what I should learn so that you can have a replica of it while you are writing your answers and that will definitely help you trust me that is the most important thing that will help you to clear this exam and if you complement it with your test series then it will do wonders for you and uh, that's it that's what I wanted to share all with you and also sir wanted to tell me to be sir actually told me to be true he told me be honest with the students they are actually most of you i guess are newer ones only it is going to be a first or second attempt only for the most of you so he was like they are going to be the newer fellows here and they are already quite frustrated with the atmosphere here so this is the and it is a very simple and plain thing you don't have to study for 14 hours 16 hours people will tell you what not that is physically impossible and if you study for 14 hours for two three days for the next two three days you'll be on a vacation at your home you are not going to wake up only so that is the core thing and i would be happy if you have any questions any doubt so that i won't be rambling up more and more please if you have any questions i'll be very delighted to answer that 
as you said, you have uh, you have uh, created business in two to three times. So do you think that uh, NCRT is very important because commerce and they never run NCRT, they don't go to Thank you for this question. And uh, this question is very important because that is the biggest scam that I have heard. What people do is that they ask you to read NCRTs for a year. Most of the doubts that I have gotten is that, sir, shall I read NCRTs from 6th to 12th? Point is, the let me tell you the basic idea of NCRT is it helps you get acquainted with the syllabus. NCRTs tell you what you are going to read. NCRTs are not what you should read. So, I would definitely tell you to go for NCRTs, not all from 6 to 12, there are very fewer ones. And that too, just give it one reading or two, maximum two, don't give more than two readings. I would suggest one only. Give only one reading for NCRTs and make sure you revise your main books, the commentaries. You revise them three times, four times, what not. But give very limited time for NCRTs. Do not run behind NCRTs. I have seen students who are in their fifth attempts and they still are reading NCRTs. And I definitely don't want you to be the another person. I want you to clear next year only. So be cautious, take a month, cover all the NCRTs within a month or even in less time because NCRTs are a reference book. They are very easy. Sorry, they are not a reference book, but they are they are the books that will get, make you acquainted with the syllabus. Take a month, maximum a month, read them once. If you feel like, revise them, but then quickly begin your preparation with your standard books. And you know what standard books are. And keep standard books very simple and single. I guess, apart from all the subject, only geography is a subject wherein you need GC Leong and there are two non-negotiable NCRTs. For rest of the subject, you just have one single main book and you have to read it again and again. Any other questions? Yeah. Can you refer us some suggestions so then all of us can have the chance to clear in person? What, what things we need to do during our preparation? So the sources of books, you not, mean? Not only the sources, like how should we go with the strategy about current affairs, this and that. How much shall we give particularly for preparation of prelims? So as of now, what you can do, if you are attempting for next year, what you should do is now this is the month of June. So for the next three to four months, make sure you complete your optional. Make sure you complete your optional, keep it handy with your notes, your own notes. Or if you don't want to make your notes, at least make sure that the notes that the institute gives you, you go through them thoroughly, these four months. And within these four months only, you go for a plain reading of GS. In four months, you will be able to make, I guess, you will be easily able to have one reading of every subject, from polity, history, and every subject. For the next four months, you can do that. October, September, October, till October. Post that, from October to December, what you can do is that there are certain aspects of mains which are not covered through prelims. For example, we have disaster management, internal security, society. Those aspects you can cover in next two months. It won't take two months. It will take a month only. Cover them till November. And from December itself, I would suggest start going for prelims test series. People will tell you that you don't need to go for a test series. People will tell you that you should not, uh, you should start your prelims test series only from March or April before a month or two. But trust me, that strategy backfires a lot. Go for your prelims test series from December, January only. And with that test series, you can go for your GS, another revision of GS. And by the way, while you are doing all this, make sure you go with the current affairs. You can read 10 pages every day from monthly magazine. You can go for any magazine. All are similar only in the market. Make sure you read at least 10 pages from every magazine so that you cover every magazine within 10 days only. There are a maximum 100 pages only in it. So side by side, go for it. 
and for current affairs what i personally preferred was online videos newspaper is always a good thing to go for but what happens is newspaper gets time consuming sometimes we keep on reading newspaper only for 2 hours to and half hours and that is definitely not feasible so what i used to do is i used to go for online videos we have many institutes that go for analysis of the daily news so definitely go for them because they'll also give you a backward and forward linkage for example what newspaper will do is that it can give you a plain idea as to news for example there's an earthquake which has occurred at this this place of this this magnitude that can be something which you will find in newspaper but in analysis video what you find is what is an earthquake what are the reasons for earthquake what are the examples of previous earthquakes what what are seismic zones so all these things get covered in your video so you can have a linkage through it so that is one of the key reasons for it and that is how you should pro proceed with current affairs at least i used to and Hmm? Huh. There are many in market. For example, uh, Rouse is uh, quite good. Byju's are also there, and uh, Study IQ. I guess these three go for online videos. So all three are equally good. So about tutorial, is this is tutorial important? I didn't get your question. Editorial. Editorials. Editorials are definitely important because editorial will help you give an understanding as to what to write. And you you can do that. You can read only editorials and go for video. What newspapers actually do is that they'll help you in your mains. They'll help you to construct a sentence to to have your sentence in very plain manner so that even layman can understand. That is how newspaper is going to help you. But make sure you read those editorials within half or one hour. And Please, I'll request you to refrain notes of current affairs. Don't make your own notes from newspapers. There are already people who are sitting there who are doing that work for you by making current affairs magazine. Do not indulge your time in making notes from your newspaper because trust me, I did that. And uh, it did not help me at all. I ended up writing at for uh, I had my own four to five books of current affairs only and I did not even read them again. So don't do that for current affairs and rest editorials is fine. You should read them. Actually, you should read them. And to continue from February, if you proceed from December, start writing tests for prelims and then continue. You have to continue and don't just write test. Make sure you revise them as well. The day you are going to give your test, for example, if you give a two hour test, Definitely, you will go through the solution set the next day or that day itself. It will take your, it will consume 5 to 6 hours. Definitely, and it should. Because those 100 questions are 100 topics for you. So, make sure you go through solution set thoroughly. And apart from that also, after that reading, make sure you go through your test series again in the month of April or March. Revise your test series also. Because you can find many questions that come from test series only. For, for the previous two years, at least this has happened. There are questions that have come from test series uh, from test series only. Not many, but at least even if you score one extra point from others, then that is also a huge thing for you. And also for online students, if there are any questions, they can also ask. So that won't be an issue. <laughs> Uh, my daily routine for preparation was exam was not very complicated. Actually, it was very simple because I was not rigorous with myself because I am not I am not a personality that would uh, spend the entire night studying or also uh, on the other hand would wake up at 4 a.m. and study. So basically, I had one thing that during a day I have to study for 8 to 10 hours. So that is how I used to manage. I used to wake up at 7, used to freshen up. Till 8, I used to go to my library, have a stretch from 8 to 12, study for 2 hours, from uh, sorry, 8 to 10. And after that, I used to go for half an hour break. And then from 10.30 to 12.30, I used to go back to studying. 
so that happened to uh, so before lunch i was able to cover for 4 hours after from 12:30 to 1:30 i used to go for lunch 1:30 to 2 idhar udhar chale gaye thoda bahut time pass kar liya that's it and again from 2 to 4 i used to go and study again take a half hour whatever it is half hour gap or go if you want to drink tea go and drink tea then from 4:30 to 6:30 study again and then i made sure that i gave one hour to exercise also because this is not a one day process this is a marathon you have to keep yourself fit every day so make sure you give at least one hour for any physical activity go for exercise go for sports do whatever so i used to go for that from 6:30 to 7:30 by the time it was 8 i used to freshen up again then again i used to go for dinner or sometimes i used to go for study for 2 hours and then i used to go at for dinner at 10:30 or 10 or i would go to have a stretch of or i would go for dinner directly and then have a stretch of 2 hours again so that was my cycle and by 11 i was back to bed so 11 to 7 i had my sound sleep so that was the only strategy any questions that is very important and uh, for this i'd suggest that when you are going for both the classes gs and optional make sure you don't uh, for optional what you can do is that you can go for daily answer writing that will keep you in touch don't go for daily answer writing in gs then go for optional go for weekly test in optional only and at that time make sure that you complete your gs syllabus you have your syllabus or notes of your gs but don't go for any test series of gs if you go for both test series simultaneously trust me it will tire you out and you will lose interest in the preparation so at a time go for single test series and for the next thing if you are going for test series of optional make sure you don't give any test of gs because that will be very hectic people will tell you that i used to do say it simultaneously and many more thing trust me not all things that you hear or see are true not everyone is going to be to and now in the world of social media even people don't know what they are talking so make sure that you go for one test series and just a complete note making of the other other thing or the other subject that is a very good question uh, how to tackle analytical questions because mostly what you see is that uh, they upsc they are not giving you straight forward questions in means what they try to do is that because it is test of your personality they don't want rote learners here so in this what you can do suppose there is a question which you don't have an idea about at least make sure that you have a data of it even if you don't have any data of it you can have a linkage of it for example uh, this year there was a question about primary rocks that was not an analytical question but so if someone do- doesn't know what rock primary rocks are he can at least write about what a rock is so at least he can score a mark or two where he won't score anything and when it comes to analytical questions the most important thing is find the theme of the question because most of the questions are analytical they are not straight forward find the theme of the question and if you are able to locate the theme of the question then you are definitely able to write more and more things there and there are going to be sub questions in your questions also because they are not giving simple plain questions also for that you need to make sure that you give adequate time for every sub question for example if there are three sub questions in a question for 15 markers you should write a page for each you can't write two pages for first question and then you can't just fit another two sub questions in a single page so as far as possible try to give equal weightage for all the sub questions and the best part is if you don't know any of the sub question write the least about it then then whatever you know make the most of it and whatever sub questions that you don't know you can just give a idea idea of it or hint of it and while concluding those questions make sure that you can include all the things in the conclusion as far as possible you won't be able to include all the things but 
एटलीस्ट ट्राई टू मेक एन अटेम दैट इन दोज फोर टू फाइव लाइन्स यू समराइज वॉट द क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली वर एंड हाउ वी कैन हैव अ वे फॉरवर्ड टू इट see uh, when it comes to analytical questions in anthropology one of the good things about anthropology as an optional is that it is not very dynamic that is one of the best part of anthropology so that you don't have to worry about what current practices or what current developments are there in this subject but definitely if you are going through analytical questions make one thing very clear they are not going to ask anything out of syllabus so if there is a question of neanderthal classification at least you know what neanderthal man is at least you know what his time period was in which era he lived or she lived and you can make a reference out of it because trust me even if it's your optional all questions won't be easy then there is no point of taking this exam there are going to be questions where you are required to think and the best part best part is if there is a difficult question if you even if you don't know the complete answer of it but even if you are able to give the crux of the question or even something which other students won't give then you will benefit immensely you will definitely score above average marks in those questions any more questions Should the strategy to revise the whole yes uh, between the prelims and the after prelims? Uh, I guess we get around three months for means. So make sure you start with your optional before even the results are out. Nowadays they are out within two weeks only, but still before the after you can enjoy for a week maybe or for four five days you can relax after prelims. Start with your optional, optional and ethics. the reason i am asking you to go for ethics is because ethics is something which is i won't say neglected but which something be, because people feel that ethics is something which we can't score freely and marking in ethics gets very subjective but trust me it is not ethics can fetch you very good marks and ethics are ethics and essay are game changer in this result, this year results as well so go for optional and ethics for a month maybe for the next month go for your gs 1 2 and 3 and for another month make sure you go for revision all of revision of all of it and in this process also make sure that the test that you give you can give around 10 tests of your optional and 10 tests of your gs not even 10 8 test 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 8 test there and 10 tests here and i guess that would be more than enough because don't go for absurd test giving also you have to give more and more test but that doesn't mean that you have to write 50 to 60 test because as i said there are there can be questions from your test series only so you have to revise your test series as well you have to read and revise them as well to at uh, now the question is which part we should attempt in paper 2 the tribal part or the social system part i guess that's the question so here in now there uh, to give an example there was a conception that if you write questions that are from physical anthropology if you write those questions you will score better than the others but even that is not true even that has backfired for many people that i know of so end of the day find your comfortable spot if you have data about something you can just go for a plain thing if the, if you are confused between the two options as to which questions you should attempt make sure that you have more examples more data of a question then find that will you be able to give a better answer than rest of the people in this question because even if you are able to give a better answer in one of the questions you will def that will definitely impact your other questions also so most important is your comfort the comfort whichever question you are comfortable with go for that 
सेकेंड यू शुड हैव योर डेटा फिगर्स एग्जाम्पल्स अबाउट दैट थर्ड इंक्लूड मोर एंड मोर स्कॉलर्स इन योर क्वेश्चन बिकॉज यू हैव टू सब्सटैंशिएट योर एंसर यू आर जस्ट अ बिगिनर यू आर अ लर्नर यू आर नॉट योर सेल्फ द स्कॉलर सो यू हैव टू सब्सटैंशिएट योर एंसर एंड इफ यू हैव दीज थ्री एस्पेक्ट ऑफ एनी क्वेश्चन गो फॉर दैट पार्ट डोंट मेक एनी प्रेजुडिस दैट इफ आई राइट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस सेक्शन देन आई स्कोर बेटर because that is not true and that's it that is how you should proceed in gs paper as well ha huh. so this can happen that there can be two confusing questions but you have to write both compulsorily but what you can do is that you can devote maximum of your time for a question that you know better and so is there a, if there's another question which you don't know much you can just wrap it in two or three minutes but make sure you attempt all the questions that is basic and any more questions so my score in this attempt was 262 my score was average i would say more above average maybe but i was myself very disappointed with my score and there is a reason for it also that i had made a blunder in the exam as well on the day of exam i had followed a different strategy while practicing while discussing with sir etc but on the day of exam i tried to be something that i was not because paper 1 i paper 1 i thought i did very good and in paper 2 the my confidence got a bit over and wherein i ended up attempting all the questions but uh, i did a blunder where for example there was a question uh, i guess 2a and 2b so i wrote the 2b part to 2a part and 2a part to 2b part so that was the thing that i did so this was a very minimal blunder but that costed me dearly but fortunately i was able to clear this exam and uh, if that would have not costed me my score would have been much better so also main solution for csat csat because i csat what you should do is that the there are many books available for csat in the market but what i would personally suggest is that there are youtube videos according to the topics for example uh, you have topic like percentage profit and loss in your mathematical part ha huh? uh, number system so you can go for youtube videos of them there are there i guess there are one one and a half hour videos of every topic even if you just type the topic you will get a video of it every day read make sure that you go and complete only one topic so do that for csat and later on as the exam approaches you can go for tests the tests for csat make sure that you give at least 8 to 10 tests of csat minimum so that there won't be any blunder in exam hall because csat is lengthy people are not able to attempt many questions in csat so make sure you do that but i'll definitely suggest go for youtube videos Can you suggest some way about how to write a good answer? A good answer is an answer which everyone can understand. The thing that costed me earlier, which I think it was, that I tried to make my answer much flowery. I tried to include many vocab wherever it was not required. Also, so to stand that was an attempt to stand out. apart from others but that is not the right way to go make sure your answers are answers are very simple the reason why you can see most of the people who are clearing this exam or getting good marks they are not academically very intelligent they are average students most of the students who are clearing this exams are average only so point is that they are writing answer in simple terms and that is what the main thing just make sure that you are writing an answer to a person who is not even remotely related to upsc and he should understand what you are trying to explain and the standard format goes introduction body conclusion introduction itself should be powerful it should be related to topic 
but it should also be related to question for example if there is a question about panchayati raj so what most of us do is that we write about 73rd 74th amendment in the introduction only but also go for what question is actually asking and if you are able to make that or if you are able to introduce that then you will fetch immense marks in gs and that is what you have to do make sure you have data but also don't put data at every paragraph that you write it should look like an answer you are not trying to dictate anything or force yourself onto anything keep it simple it will reward you immense that's it including diagram also yeah definitely you should include diagram but diagrams also if they are related the the people those who are going to check your copies even they know of the tricks if they come to know that you are including diagram just to fill space on the paper then that doesn't give a good impression you actually have topics in mind you are trying to substantiate them with diagram or you are using diagram to actually promote something or to actually tell something about the question then it will help you but you have if you are trying to force fit it it can backfire sir magazine ke liye actually for economy you need to understand the basics first if you are not thorough with the basic current affairs as you mentioned will definitely be a tougher part but for that also make sure that you have your reference book in handy and at in that scenario what you can do is that you can keep that topic on hold make sure you go through your economy you get at least have an idea what economy is what are the concepts in economics and after a month or two or three then you can go with the economy part in the magazine that is how you can cover it and that is i guess that is that will only help and i guess that happens in economy only because other subjects are quite plain and even if you don't have an idea about the basic book still if you read current affairs you get an idea of it but economy is not the same so for that you can do that sir yeah tell me as you told that we did not write the most of the time most of the time we come down to some new topic came in which have been asked in months if i got what is it it is the magazines of submission from the revising the point is if a topic is important for upsc it will definitely reflect again and again in the newspapers trust me if there is a topic which is important it will be published after two days three days or even for months it will be published so you be rest assured of that so you will interact with that topic for good number of days so that won't be a question that won't be a question and also in your test series also that topic will get reflected somewhere so there also you can get an interaction with that topic and that is how you will come to know that this is one of the important topics and that's why i tell you to go with the videos because what happens is our memory when it comes to audio visual thing is better than what we call as print media or just plain reading if we watch something on youtube or whatever it is then it gets fit into our memory at least for a longer period of time than reading so that will definitely help what is practice in a pdc report pardon me what is practice in a pdc report hmm. it's more than enough point being uh, for your essay to be holistic if you are if you complete your whole gs syllabus gs 1 2 3 4 your ss will be much more beautiful the reason why you have to write ss now is that so that you can get an idea of it are you able to complete it in time is it getting better are you able to cover all those dimensions 
सो फॉर दैट वन एस ए वीक इज मोर देन इनफ आफ्टर प्रिलिम्स ऑल्सो आई थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग वी फॉर गॉट द एस ए पार्ट आफ्टर प्रिलिम्स बट आफ्टर प्रिलिम्स ऑल्सो मेक श्योर यू राइट एट टू टेन एस एज इन दोज थ्री मंथ्स दैट मीन्स अराउंड फाइव टेस्ट टू एस एज पर टेस्ट दैट टूड बी मोर देन इनफ रीजन बींग इफ यू राइट मेनी एस एज इट गेट्स इट मेक्स यू कन्फ्यूज बिकॉज आफ्टर अ सर्टन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू रन आउट ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स यू रन आउट ऑफ कॉन्टेंट इन एस एज एंड दैट इज वेन यू स्टार्ट टू डाउट योर सेल्फ एंड दैट हैम्पर्स योर सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस For example, if I am writing essays day every day, then the topics, the examples that I have given in my first essay, those will be repeated in my fifth essay, seventh essay, ninth essay. That is going to happen. So actually, what we try to do is that we try to play with the same limited number of examples that we have. So one, as of now, one essay per week is more than it. Yeah. the first thing that you should do is that if you are a complete beginner make sure that you don't even touch pyqs i'll tell you why what happens is that if you start reading pyqs from first day itself it limits our understanding it limits we limit ourselves because if you are reading a topic and if you understand ki baba is pe kabhi sawal aaya hi nahi then you skip that topic and if you go with the papers अभी के यू विल कम टू नो नॉट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पी वाई क्यूज आर नॉट रिपीटेड यू हैव टू मेक यूज ऑफ पी वाई क्यूज आफ्टर यूर फर्स्ट और सेकेंड रीडिंग मेक श्योर यू मेक अ कंप्लीट रीडिंग ऑफ योर बुक वेन इट कम्स टू फर्स्ट रीडिंग यू डोंट डिमार्केट वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वॉट इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट इन योर फर्स्ट रीडिंग दैट विल गिव यू एन एज वेन इट कम्स टू ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन सपोज इफ अ क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट विच इज not which is not quite contemporary or which is not even asked for remotely for the previous years but if that is asked this year and you give it right then you are going to get two marks in prelims you are going to get four five marks in mains for that only so pyqs are definitely very important but after your second reading i would suggest or first reading in another case if you want to go for pyqs very early but your first reading should be completely plain we make sure because but obviously we are reading only one book suppose for polity if i am reading only lakshmikant then i would be a fool if i am cutting lakshmikant in half that i am not going to read this part and i am going to read only this part because i am reading only one book i should make sure that at least for once i read the whole book i hope that answers your question how to balance between optional and gs as i told down only half of your time should be devoted to optional matlab as of now if you are not going to give mains this year then what you can do is that every day four hours you can go for optional four hours for gs one for, one hour for your current affairs and one hour for csat and if you want to delay csat you can delay it you can start for csat from december also that is how you can go any questions uh, well i was a very ethical person <laughs> myself uh, jokes apart uh, for ethics what i did was ethics there are many books available in the market what i used to do is i used to go with the topics i had the syllabus copy uh, pasted uh, on my board only so i used to make sure that i have notes of every topics i suppose if i am writing about integrity then i must have definitions of integrity what integrity is one or two definitions and i would write the simplest definition in the actual paper because i want to make sure that my answers are understandable even for a layman so write a definition give an example example as in for integrity you can give any example mahatma gandhi nelson mandela there are many examples of integrity another thing what you can do is you can write illustration for the same 
a hypothetical scenario you can go for and you can write for the same and the best thing for essays that will work is your personal life example even if you don't have integrity still give an example that you have integrity and for this make sure that you include these examples while making your notes only so that you don't have to think while you are writing answers in paper and that is how you will save that extra minute which is essential in ethics because most people find it difficult to complete ethics papers and for case studies i would personally suggest don't go for them as of now after prelims only go for case studies attempting case studies going for the format of case studies as of now just go with the ethics syllabus make sure that you have notes for every topic in it yeah pardon me uh, of the for gs see for for gs i personally found making mains notes very difficult and uh, i would suggest you don't go for note making in those main subject which are part of your prelims you have to make notes for internal security social issues which are governance which are not part of your prelims for other subjects make your prelims notes for example i had made my prelims prelims notes in a way that all the subjects history geography ancient art and culture everything was covered in a single big book micro notes as we call them and i had made those notes after having three readings so that and those were the notes which i would read before 10 to 15 days of exam before the actual prelims so make notes in a format that i would be reading this notes before my exam before immediate before two weeks of exam or three weeks of exam i'd be reading those notes and after you'll have your more and more readings you'll come to know what things are you better at the reason why i tell you not to go for other people's notes is that you better understand yourself for example i would make notes of those things which i was not able to remember if i am able to remember that council of ministers are responsible to lok sabha and i know that ha ki ye dimag mere dimag ye baat mere dimag mein chhapi hai this is a thing which i would never forget then i would make sure that i was not going to include that in my notes but if there's another thing which i think so was which i think is important but if i was unable to remember it again and again that i would make sure that i include that in my notes in the same way you also make your own notes for prelims for mains you can't go for note making of polity and all because the questions are not directly asked from them so i guess you can go for only for prelims rest make sure you have your other sources covered for internal security and etc anything sir yeah. can you tell us some stories about interview interview actually my interview was very smooth because what had happened is there's also a thing for it it is in your hand most mostly it is in your hand as to what questions you will get in your interview and if you are a blank student then they'll suck everything out of you in my case what had happened is they asked me as to what i was doing post graduation that was the initial question that they asked me and immediately i told them i was remotely associated with pani foundation if you know pani foundation is an ngo run by amir khan and others which helps Uh, which works in drought prone areas and they deal with water conservation so my initial statement was about pani foundation so my interview went on pani fresh water resources droughts problems of water etc etc so half of the time it went on water only and i had prepared most of the aspects of water so it went smooth and my interview was on 22nd march it was gudi padwa also in maharashtra we have gudi padwa and i was expecting a question on gudi padwa and they asked me a question about gudi padwa significance of gudi padwa 
so while answering that i question that question i myself gave two three points to them so i actually gave them rhetorical, rhetorical questions so they asked me those questions again so that is how it navigated complete and that's why i was able to score fairly well that day because most of the people that day were not able to make in the list and that helped me but if you are a blank person if end of the day you have to give them questions they won't be coming prepared with questions and all they'll be asking questions from what you're saying only but if you are a blank personality then definitely they can ask you anything then they'll go fa factual also they'll try to demotivate you there only that is what they can do nowadays they don't do that they are trying to be very cordial but that will hamper your marks then so but that is a process that you'll come to know later after you go after your mains also you'll get fairly i guess 2 3 months to prepare for interview so that won't be an question uh, that won't be a bigger question for you actually i was myself bad with data and figures thanks for asking uh, that is why make sure that you keep those aspects in the end if you are revising data for your mains make sure you keep it in the end revise those dates or whatever the facts while writing your test series after prelims that will help because that will not give you unnecessary torture before and and when you are with the flow when you are in that process after prelims when you are in the process of mains answer writing and uh, giving a thought on it then it automatically gets fit in your head that is where you automatically start remembering data facts because you start writing those facts on your everyday answers and that is how it gets it gets processed in your brain as of now don't go for it jitna you can remember it i guess only for history you'll have to remember data that also if you are aware of the basic timelines even that will do you don't have to remember any actual date or number so that you can do book list okay so my book list uh, was uh, very simple uh, if we go subject wise please uh, make me understand if i am skipping something uh, for polity i you go went with lakshmikant obviously for modern i had spectrum with me ancient there was one ncrt only there's one ncrt for ancient for medieval there's one ncrt i guess 10th 11th or uh, i guess that only ha huh? for environment shankar but i have heard pmfis book is also quite good i have not read it personally but uh, we went with shankar only shankar then uh, what we have for geography gc leong and i guess 11th and 12th ncrts these two ncrts art and culture nitin singhania art and culture nitin singhania uh, for economy uh, there are many sources uh there's book of ramesh singh uh, there's video lectures of mrunal sir and his notes also and uh, recently i have come to know about nitin singhania's book also on economy i have not read it personally but anything from these three i went with Ray ramesh singh and i hope there's an updated version of ramesh singh now so if it's there i had gone with it only for science and tech i went completely with current affairs magazine because uh, to give a simple fact if you don't know something about science and tech no one knows about that be rest assured of that if you are writing an answer in prelims or mains about science and if you think this is a very difficult question or you don't know about this no one knows about this that is the only thing and that will give you confidence while writing your paper so for science and tech i went with only current affairs magazine the science and tech part in it bas utna hi and i guess we have covered everything for ethics so i told you the entire thing go for definition then examples in it and uh, for internal security social issues disaster management for these things what you can do is that make sure 
मेक यूज ऑफ सोशल नॉट सोशल मीडिया इंटरनेट फॉर दैट विकीपीडिया विल हेल्प यू अलॉट एंड आई डिड द सेम थिंग आई जस्ट हैड माई एंटायर सिलेबस आई वेंट विथ एवरी टॉपिक इन इट I made sure for every topic I googled every topic definition what is disaster definition of disaster what are the types of disaster and many other things the mitigation aspect of it adaptation aspect of it governmental efforts state governments effort central governments effort all those and keep those notes handy so that is what I did for main stress so that is the only book list I guess. that will definitely help you pib if you are even uh, watching uh, this rajya sabha tv also will help you pib rajya sabha because that is authentic government data you can definitely go for it and it will also not consume your time but don't make notes of it because those aspects also get covered in your current affairs magazine <laughs> uh, you have to revise them that is non negotiable you will have to revise them before your prelims you will have to revise your current affairs magazine and make sure that at least one thing you revise if you are going for monthly current affairs make sure you revise those and if you are going for 365 there are 365 compilations also which will be released before prelims if you are reading them make sure you revise them so whatever source you need you need to go for revision until and unless you revise you won't be able to get the hold of it i personally did not read those magazines because i don't know men, uh, peop, there can be different views on it but i did not go for them because i was already fed up with all these sources i didn't want any more sources also to it anything sir then and even if there are any more doubts you can ask me any time so that won't be an issue so sorry <laughs> and uh, so first of all i would like to thank sir for giving me this opportunity to interact with you and uh, the reason as i told you at the initial my initial speech only if that was not a speech but uh, the reason i told you it is because of him is because there's one thing which we call as confidence we can know we can know all the things but if we don't have confidence we don't perform better i was very confident person but he was the one who showed me that i was a confident person and i had disturbed him a lot i used to take most of his time i remember after every test that i gave we used to discuss that test for an hour i guess so his personal attention is something which i'll always be indebted to and that is why sir whenever you want me i'll be here for you on just a call you on on a text also so thank you so much and thank you guys for being so patient with me and if i have told you something wrong or if i did a blunder i am very sorry for it and thank you so much <laughs> thank you thank you